Boom, we're on. And today's guest, we've got Jason Mariner. How are we, brother? Not too bad, mate. Not too bad, thanks. Was that a lawless list, Anshay? We did that bit out first, yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming on. Pleasure, mate. Pleasure. So, up for the Celtic Rangers game tomorrow as well. Aye. Looking forward yeah. to this one. I am. I fancy, I fancy Rangers to win. I really do. You're going to um, fucking say that. No, I do. I do. I, I fancy. Listen, fucking hell, like, you know. They're getting better, Rangers. They're getting better, you know what I mean? But anyway, they couldn't get any worse. So, uh, <laughs> so I always go back to the start with my guest, Jason. Yeah. It's just where you grew up and how you get involved in the life you were involved in. So, where did you grow up? Well, I went to a, I went to a school called Witten, Witten School. Well, the three days I went, uh, you know, Witten School, I went um, uh, near Twickenham, Amworth, that sort of area. Um, uh, and then... Uh, you know, it, it was a mixed area for for people supporting different clubs. Really, you know what I mean. It wasn't, you know, it was quite a, quite a lot of Chelsea around there. But obviously, them days, you know, a lot of Man United, you know, the, in the younger year, years and and Arsenal and Liverpool, always the same. You know what I mean. A lot of Tottenham, you know, bit of mixture. So it was absolutely a mixture of everyone. You know what I mean. Um, but I always believe you should support who your dad supports. You know what I mean. And so, you know, is that why you support Celtic? Yeah. There you go. Oh, then no, I'm a great believer in that. I think that's. I, f mm -hmm. I think you should. You All my I mean? family are mad Rangers as well. All born Fantastic. <laughs> I'll tell you what, be true. I like your family more than you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, I do. I do. I, I think you should support. You, you know. But um, so you know, and and if you like football, you know, me, me old man like football. You know. Listen, it's the biggest fucking sport in the world, isn't it? And it, it was then and it is now. And it ain't changed. Um, if anything, it's got bigger in it because of all the PC turnout. You know, we got we got a lot of women's football now, haven't we? You know, and, <laughs> and this and yeah. that and what have you. But, um, you know, so I started going. Start, start, you know, I was playing, playing and, and, and watching, going. And... Uh, you know, you sort of get caught up in it, but it's not only you get caught up in it. To be truthful, um, if you have that of that, it, if it's in you for you know, look, you know, I was at times I was a cunt at school, wasn't I? So that's the bottom line, or on the street, or whatever it is, and blah blah blah. And then all of a sudden, you 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 sort of uh, you get mixed up with your football. You're passionate about your football. You know, uh, you know. Look, fucking, I've said it before. I've said it a million and one times. If I play marbles, I want to win. You know, it's, look, I'm a dirty, horrible, blue nose tomorrow from from your side. You know what I mean? And vice versa. You know, we all slag each other off. From a, you know, like it is what it is. I think that's all part of it. Mm -hmm. And and when I was younger, um, you just you get caught up in it, and then we started. Uh, like people would organise a coach. Like he, he was a straight runner. I put him down as a straight runner. The kid that, that, that had the coach really. But there was a few of us that were Herberts, and like you know, say I took ten people and now I'd nick two quid each out of them. You know what I mean? My old man had a boozer. Don't for I'll take the light out on there. I'd nick fifty pence out of a can of a booze, and do you know what I mean? And then you know there'd be other bits and pieces on there that people were earning money off of, and this, that, and the other. You do the fucking fruit machines and you do the seg cigarette machines and you, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden you're going home with a monkey in your pocket and you're fucking, <laughs> and you've had a fucking turnout. You've ended up having a row and whatever, you know, and you're, you're X amount, you know. But even before that, it, you know, I just think, look, if it's in the cat, it's in the kitten, right? So you, you, you're born a scallywag, ain't you? It's so to speak. What age you know. did you start really getting into it seriously? The passion for Chelsea. And... I, I, I would say, really, I reckon about fifteen, like passionately. You know what I mean? I was before that. I, I fucking I must sound like an old cat, but I've done the milk rounds. But before that, I used to get up and I used to go round and I used to fucking lift the mats and fucking nick the milkman's money. <laughs> right? and that, that's the truth of it. I ain't gonna fucking lie. I used to go over and nick the fucking cherry aid bottles and mm -hmm. take the bottles back and get the ten pence back on the bottles and. What have you, and you know, whatever. They, you know, I was, I was a bit of a, you know, schemer as well. Like wanted a pound note, didn't I? You know, and you, you're talking about, you know, fucking 
a bowl. It used to cost a bowl like two quid to get into Chelsea's ground or something silly. So all of a sudden, you've nicked the milkman's fucking money. Ain't being funny. The, 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 the treacle's left the money under the mat. You've nicked a ching. If you've nicked a fiver, you've fucking got your train fare. Eh? You're in, Burger. <laughs> you're, you're in. You're out. You know what I mean? You know, I mean... Fucking hell, I don't want to sound like I was born in 1942, but it's a fact. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's a shame the way the game's gone now. Like, you, you've got free kick children. You know what I mean? You go and try and, mm -hmm. you go and, try and get change out of a fucking monkey now on a, on a day out with them to football. But going back to that, yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, and then I started, get, get, uh, I had a milk round and uh, for half become a straight runner. Do you know what I mean? Like, going to, uh, I enjoyed it, to be truthful. And uh, the, the, the the fella that who had the milk rounds, his brother was an old and Chelsea sport, just a bit of a coincidence. So he used to, like, on an own, go, you know, he'd let me slip off a bit early. Go, cool, mate, off you go, Chelsea. I'll get me a little bit of weight. And off I went. And mm -hmm. I had 38 scarves around my wrists and all that turn out, didn't I? And, uh, you know, I used to fucking have the, have the laces, took out me Dr. Martins outside the ground and what have you. And, you know, used to queue up to get outside get in the grounds and fuck knows why it was only 8,000 getting in there mm -hmm. do you know what I mean you know was your dad but, passionate towards uh, Chelsea I'd, as you were yeah he, well, he was Chelsea, obviously Chelsea supporter but I don't think no not as passionate as me you know mm -hmm. what I mean I don't think but my old man as I say as I, what I was called as a straight runner do you know what I mean so he weren't a he didn't have the violent streak in him so to speak do you know what I mean and, and that's where I think it you know it's sort of that's when I say if it's in the cat, it's in the kitten. Look, if you've been a nuisance at school and you've you know you have a tear up with a with a fucking other school, you know, let's have it right. You, you know, it starts at school. Your school's fighting mm -hmm. the school down the road. Yeah. Right. And then you get a bit of a name for yourself, and then bum bum bum, and it carries on from there. And it's you know, they they, they make you laugh and go on about all these fucking like all this football violence and this that and the other and you know. You know, not in ill carnivals just happened. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many people have been fucking stabbed there, but they they don't they don't want to tell you about it all mm -hmm. because you know it, it, it's not it's not right for them. You know what I mean? But if it was football, it'd be fucking front pages of the paper. <laughs> what was your first game you ever you ever went to? You remember? No, I couldn't. Uh, do you know what? I'd be lying about it. I was that young. I couldn't. I mean, I say I got into it strongly, passionately when I was fifteen, but um, obviously I was fucking. I went when I was. You know, when, yeah. when, the old, when the old pot and pan was taking me yeah. fucking mm -hmm. holding his hand and I, whatever, putting me over the turnstile. So did you, were, you get, were you getting a buzz from like, school fighting and then it just progressed? Yeah, yeah, listen, I just think, look, it's like it's naturally in it. Look, if you're a bank robber, you don't wake up one morning and think, I'm going to rob a bank. Right? You're a fucking bank robber. That's what you do. <laughs> but uh, to me, that's a, that's, that's a fact. You know what I mean? You know? You know, like, you don't, you know, you don't want to become a fucking smackhead, mm -hmm. but you have a little tickle of it. Next thing you know, you're a boss monkey. You're an absolute raving junkie, isn't you? Because you're fucking whacking the gear up inside you all the time. And, and football, and football violence, and that passion and that kind of thing, or the streak inside you, is already in it. You're born with that. And it's, that's the bottom line. I don't, you know, look, look you know, the, I mean, the hatred tomorrow is... To me, it's fucking fantastic. I don't, you know, it's, and it doesn't matter. It's not because it's Rangers v Celtic. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what the team is on Sunday. It's Arsenal Tottenham. The hatred. And if you take that away, what's the point of having this game? What is the point of, you know, people fucking telling you to sit down and all that? Fucking sit down. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just don't. Listen, I can't stand smoking. I can't bear it. But there should be a stand for people that's allowed to smoke because they've just give 70 quid for a brief. They should, they should be allowed to stand on their head if they want to. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but I just don't... Uh, Can you remember your first scrap for Chelsea? Well, I, I'll tell you what happened. We went to Wolverhampton and Wanderers away. And uh, I was... It, it was a it was a fucking Wednesday or Tuesday, whatever it was. Anyway... We've pulled up in a car park, and my pal, he's dead now, bless him, Darren Crow, he he uh, he had a flag, he had Chelsea on it. He, he said, hold that, Chase, he wanted to shake the wife's wedding present. So as he's gone to the toilet, I'm holding the flag. There's a mob of this turnout, and they went, what's on that flag? Well, of course, the Larry little cunt on him. It was fucking Chelsea, what do you think? Mm. So all of a sudden, he wants to, he's gone to me, right? Big black geezer, by the way. I, I've fucking... 
shaped up, gone to goat with him. I've spat it, but anyway, he's fucking chased me all around a car park to kick the fuck out of me, be truthful. But um, I was, I was quite bruised up, my, not, excuse me, not too bad, but enough. I'd had a kick in, you know what I mean? And there had been quite a lot of altercations before the game, you know what I mean? I mean, you're talking like mid 80s and whatever, or like early 80s, 80s, whatever it was, something like that. So, you know, it was lively. It was good. Do you know what I mean? It was fucking, it was, you know, it was on top. But Chelsea had a good firm there, to be fair. And to be fair, Wolves, they, they you know, they was up for it. And, uh, of course, it's all kicked off and boom, 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 and then Chelsea got a nice firm together and done with it. But I think, because it's gone round that, you know, a few liberties have been taken outside the ground and this, that and the other. And I think they're doing it for me. Because like I've been ironed out, really. Do you know what I mean? But uh, they're not. They're doing it for the for the name of Chelsea, aren't they? They're doing it for the for the name of the club, for the name of the, you know, what what, what we love and believe in. And um, that that's the snowball. Do you know what I mean? That's when it like that's when it sort of kicks in a bit. Hold on a minute. Fucking hell. They fucking love me here, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? You know, you can't stand they know me, don't they love me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a fact. How did Chelsea come through the ranks so fast from that side of things? How did they get the, the name that they did worldwide? I, I I personally think down to organization. That's a, that's a personal opinion. Um because many years ago, there's no organization, right? There's there's no, you know what I mean? There's you know, uh there's no mobile phones, there's none of this internet, there's none of this grass book, you know what I mean? There's none of this social media, none of this fucking keyboard warrior bollocks. You know, it's, you know, you would, this is where we're meeting, this is where we're meeting, this is a time, don't be late. People weren't late, it was 10 minutes before, do you know what I mean? Right? They want to get there, they want to fucking be there. You know, many people, you'd fucking turn up to get on a coach and you couldn't get on a coach, you know what I mean? People's, you know, you had to be there early or you had to pay your deposit the week before, or, you know what I mean? And everyone wanted to be on certain people's coaches or it's that never. And all of a sudden you're organised. And you, and when you've got a bit of organisation, you can take it to a different level. Many people did Chelsea have in their fun at their strongest. Look, everyone can talk about like mad numbers and all that, but... We have been to certain places when we've been like five, six, six hundred handed. But I am going back in the day. I mean, if a firm fucking goes and pulls 150 nowadays, that's a big mob. Don't care what anyone tells you. Forget all the bollocks. It's a big mob nowadays. Do you know what I mean? You know. But listen, I don't care. Look, look, look the bottom line is you can have five, six hundred. It's always the same 30 or 40 at the front. Who gave you the best scrap? Do you know what? That's... We've had we've had some good ones to be <laughs> so you, you, you can't you know what I mean you know we've had some good ones that's you know we we really have and it, I think it'd be unfair for me to say that you know I've been to Millwall when we've done really well but I've also been to Millwall and the only way he's fucking out is to fight you know because it's been on you know your Sheffield United your fucking you know we've had some good turnouts with them the Wolves as, as I say and. Uh, and, and and things like that, do you know what I mean? You know, obviously we've had turnouts with Leeds and Leicester. We've had some great times with Leicester. Not quite sure why our big rivalry is with Leicester. I'll never know, but we always have done, you know. Um, I've become quite pals with a few, you know, oh. all, quite a lot of them all up and down the country, all over the, you know. But yeah, why is that then? All the scrapping you did with each other and then you became, is that more respect for well, each other? Possibly a bit more respect, but do you know what? I'll tell you what the, the bottom line of it is, right? The bottom line of it is this. We all support, we all, we all support a different team, but we're all the fucking same. We're all the same. We're like-minded. We wear the same sort of clothes. We drink, as we go to the same sort of bars, but in a different side of town. We're fucking... You know, we're all up for the same thing. We've got the same sort of personality. You know, I mean, listen, everyone's got good and bad. Everyone's got lunatics. Everyone's got fucking dresses and non-dresses. Everyone's got people that like certain music and don't like certain music. Everyone's got the same mixture in the same fucking thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know. What is did you start raising up the ranks then? Uh, you, and, do, uh, do you know what? I don't, you don't even realise you're going up the ranks if, mm -hmm. if the truth is to be fucking told. Because you've got one of the biggest names between... That, well, I think back in when you get when you get a, an absolute chunk of bird and people knows it, that know that you're a million and one percent, that goes a long way as well. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You know, I mean, I listen. 
the old bill say, I'm one dog in the old bill station. You, I've got the right, right to remain silent. So when when I when I I don't I don't even say no comment to him. You'll be sitting there interviewing me, and I'll just look at you, or I'll just put me in and I'll just look away, and just and the, the old bill even say to me, do you know how degrading that is? And I say, I don't give a fuck, mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think I'm fucking here to do your job? I don't even talk to him. I will not even talk to him. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that because I have got the right to remain silent. And if I go no comment, I ain't fucking silent, am mm -hmm. I? Do you think it's changed days now? Too many pussies, too many people videoing things. Oh, they're fucking good. Like... Listen, all that fucking people going, it's like being in the shovel. People go, oh, you know, sweet grassing. Oh, he's their sweet grassing. Their sweet... No, 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 no. They're grassing cunts. They're grassing. <laughs> That's the bottom line. There ain't no mm -hmm. sweet about it. It's fucking, it's too many people, you know what I mean? But When did you start getting a lot of, from fighting, when did the police start being heavy on it? To be honest, Maggie Thatcher was the one about that. Do you know what I mean? You know, she 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 put the hammer down quite heavy. You know what I mean? Um, you know, just wanted to stamp it out. You know what I mean? And uh, she didn't do a bad job. You know, like my mm -hmm. pal Icky, for argument's sake. Um, you know, Icky, Vince, and Terry. You know, they all, anyway, Icky, Steve got, you know, he's still a good power of mine now. I spend a lot of time, you know, he wound up getting a cockle. He got a 10. He got a 10 stretch. But they fabricated evidence. The old Bill, greedy-eyed chavvies, they couldn't help themselves. They fabricated evidence. So, uh, Trying to make an example of them. So, so he got a 10, but he'd done three on, I think, one is a pill and got £100,000 compensation. So he moved to, he's funny, he's, he's so funny, like he's, you know, he, he, if me and him were together in the old Bill City, he says, I've flown back into England on taxpayers' money. Thank you for that <laughs> slag manufacturer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, he, you know, that's just the way. But, you know, it, it started and then, you know, they, they you know, they, it's a game, really. It's a game, isn't it? It's them and us. Look, it doesn't matter if it's, it doesn't matter if it's fucking, it doesn't matter if it's uh, football violence or fucking, you know, whatever it is or, if it's cool, if it, you know, it, it's the, if it's cool, it's prosecution against fucking, against, uh, prosecution against, um, us, ah, defending, yeah, you know defender. what I mean? Fucking hell, I hope yeah. you edit that out, <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking hell. The prosecution right. against Pros us, ourselves, right, yeah. Right, and then, and then in prison, you know, you're, you're convicts in their eyes, mm -hmm. so it's just screws against me. It's us against the old bill. It's a game. It's a game of chess. Who moves first? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You just got to be... My, my, my mate actually calls me. He calls me the chess player sometimes because he says like, I'm five moves in front. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But, you know, I ain't no good at chess, obviously. <laughs> but, what was your, when did you get your first sentence from it? Um, well, the first everyone, to be true. I mean, I've done a little bit before thing, but for, for me first sentence for the for that was the the box of bricks when I got the six stretch for the for the turnout with the uh with the program. Um yeah, was that the back tire thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what yeah, was the what's the story with that then? Uh he said a fucking lot more well no do you know what? I probably met him twenty five times in eighteen months. It's the most to this day that they've ever spent on a documentary, right? Uh, they spent three hundred thousand pounds, so of your money, mm -hmm. of your of your taxpayers' money, because that's where it come from, right? Your television license, right? Um, BBC. We're not. We run. We don't need to go any further about that turnout with the BBC. I mean, they're all bacon's, aren't they? Um, <laughs> right? Uh, you know, <clears throat> but it, it, it's uh, it's quite plain and simple. <clears throat> what they done. Right, there was an informant, right? There was an informant. Uh, uh, not a grass, because a grass is someone who points at someone and says he done it. There was an informant, a paid informant, right? Uh, Darren Wells, right? No, no informant. Um, uh, and, you know, anyway, but, but the truth of it is, well, we still to this day don't believe that they wanted, to, you know, they, obviously they said that I was you know, big with the underworld and I had all these feelings around me and blah, 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 when I was this, that and the other. And so they, 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 their persona was that they was big time drug importers. That was their persona. And they've never denied it. It's, they've admitted it freely. They admitted it in court. They says that to you? No, them. 
Yeah. That's how they get in. That's how they. That's how their personas are getting. Uh-huh. So they they rented a flat next door to me for eighteen months. But they were saying they were important important drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I've got, I have to go back a little bit first yeah. because that's they didn't just flop on that straight yeah, yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. they done is I I've, I've always been a market trader. That's what I'm a market trader, right? But I also had a tire shop, yeah, with two recovery trucks. You know, and listen, like, you know, just, I like to, I like to try and get a few reddits. You know what I mean? So. I had that as well. So what they what they would do, what oh, sorry, what they've done is they live next door to me for 18 months, but for three months I never even spoke to them. Didn't even didn't even acknowledge them. But people, you didn't when you watch the documentary, you ain't gonna see that. No one else is gonna see that. It's only the idiots that think, oh, he got fell, he fell for that, and this, that, and the other. Let me tell you, there was 344 hours worth of video footage, right? Now, if you watch 344 hours worth of video footage, that's the seven days a week, your television on at two and a half weeks, 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day for two and a half weeks. It's a fucking lot of footage, right? And that's the best they could pull up. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. You're not going to see, you're not, when you're watching that documentary, you're not going to, you're not going to, to the naked eye is not going to notice that when I come back from some, when I went, to somewhere, let's say fucking Ranger Celtic, and I'm wearing this this fucking terrorist cult t-shirt, yeah. right? Let's say I'm wearing that. They're not going to notice that when I come back, I've got a boss one on. But they've clipped it, edited, enhanced it, filmed it, boom, boom, boom. That's their job. I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. There's no sour milk with me. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. But what they've done, what they done, right? I'll tell you what is sore. I'll tell you what is very sore. And I thought I might have had the jury on this one, if I'm being honest with you. Right. There was a... I lived in a little gaff called... A uh, little town called uh, Ampton Hill. Nice little gaff, you know what I mean? Sweet, right? Cut a few little lighthouse shops, nice pubs, nice, nice mm-hmm. people. It was all right. It was cushy, you know? Uh, and my mates ex-girlfriend, she's a girlfriend of mine, just a girlfriend, right? My mate's ex-girlfriend, worked behind the jump. Well, he's tried to slip into her McIntyre, right? <laughs> Mackin lies, right? He's tried to slip into her. Well, he, she thought he was quite a good-looking cunt, blah, blah, blah. And he's she said, listen, do you fancy going out with a fucking drink and this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. She's gone with it, isn't she? She's a single girl. Why not? She's up with her, you know what I mean? But I don't, it's un, unbeknown to me. I'm, I'm not interested in this Mongol, am mm-hmm. I? Right? So then he cancels, then he cancels, and he keeps going missing, right? But there was another kid called Paul Atkinson, right? Who was ex old Bill come out of Moss Sides. So he had a bit more to walk, a bit more to talk. Listen, they're puffing. Still spring, having a puff with a fucking local. They, mm-hmm. but got slipped into the locals. Let me tell you. There's a lot more other people that was more worried than what I was because they obviously they've got to, they've got to make pals around there, but I didn't I don't need many more friends. Do you know what I mean? So it was never they never fucking slipped. Do you know what I mean? It's it's just made it look it so. Yeah. So he's followed you about for eighteen months. He's a documentary maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, hold on. Right. Well, is that, so, well, does entrapment no kick no, in? No, no, because there's no agent provocateur in this country. If it was America, it'd be thrown out. Wouldn't even go past the first hurdle. But hold on, this is where I think it gets a little bit sore. For Heather, for the girl, right? And this is where I think I might, the jury might sympathise with me a little bit, right? We know the outcome, so they didn't, right? But anyway, <laughs> right? but he ends up taking her out, right? And they go to the Blue Elephant Thai restaurant in Chelsea. Nice gaff. If I ever want some brownie points, that's where it's gone now, as it happens, the gaff. But you walk in there, you go over a little bridge, all koi carp swimming about and... Boom, boom, boom. It's a right nice gaff. It wined and dined her and it's champagne. Mm-hmm. On your money, by the way, right? <laughs> champagne, all the thing. Nothing, nothing spared. Anyway, they have a pot noodle later on. They have a canoodle, don't they? A little kiss and cuddle. Boom, boom, boom. Right? She thinks, sweet. She th- anyway, he makes his excuses and goes. But she thinks he's married. That's why he's gelled. That's, mm-hmm. why, he's, that's why he's done the slits. Obviously. He's an undercover reporter. Mm-hmm. That's why he's done the slips. He can't tuck under her belt, I suppose, or he can't march on. Not saying she would, you know, I mean, I don't know what's up the word, but anyway. But she fucking, like, you know, and then they've gone out a few, but 
when it started coming out, she went, he didn't stop asking about you that night we was out. She went, that's what, and I, because I had the tyre shop, he said, oh, I need, I need some new tyres, this, that and the other, where's Jason's tyre shop? He didn't even know. Three fucking months and lived next door to me. He didn't know. That's how good they were at the job. But she's told him, she ain't got nothing to watch. She ain't, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? She ain't glassing me up. She didn't know. Was, but she's fell for the man. That's the truth of it. She fell for him, which is strong. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, comes down, blah, blah, blah. Then offers me a contract, right? Now he talks to me, right? Blah, blah, blah. Do you want to? Of course I want to fucking do your tires. I've got a tire shop. I ain't going to send you at mm -hmm. fucking McDonald's, am I? <laughs> right? So I'll say, yeah, sweet, mate. Blah, blah, blah. Just start. Yeah, whatever, mate. After, but never no conversation, really. But very shrewd in what they're doing. Then I'll be in the lighthouse shop with a few of me pals, having a booze, boom, boom, boom. He'd be the other way. Send a drink over. I'm one of them. And I ain't a fucking pop. Yeah, send one back. And, you know, I don't know the geezer. The geezer mm -hmm. lives in the same block. Of, you know what I mean? Sweet, yeah, drink. He'd always make pot come past, always sell out of me pals, and you know, don't think everyone they don't understand the, the the scenario. So anyway, when it becomes a lot more down the line, what he says to me because they pretend that they're big in the importation of gear, what he says to me is, "Right, well, we, you know, we're in the other job. You know, wants to try and talk all gangsters to me and this mm -hmm. uh, and the other." I said, oh, yeah, mate. I said, I don't know what you're telling me, but I ain't interested. Anyway, they offered me the gear, right? Some fucking, it's absolute Queen's evidence. We got back up. There's no, there's, can't sue me if, if it's any other way. Sue me, it's all bollocks. Can't. So they offered me the gear, which I obviously turned down. I say, listen, mate, I'll do my own thing. I'll get my own money and I don't need to be involved in all that bollocks. And they said, look. We have top of the range vans all the time coming in and out of Europe. Do you want the contract to to change our tyres all the time? Because they've got to be pristine all the time. So obviously I'll give them a price, don't I? <laughs> For fucking a fleet of vans, because they've got a courier company. Mm -hmm. They pretend that they have a courier company, but they're blending the other job in. There is no other job, obviously. We know that, mm -hmm. right? But whatever. So um, that's how they got into me, if you like. That's how they cracked the ice and I started yeah. talking to them more, if you want to know. But a trust time. started both yeah, but Yeah, well, no, I'll say a bit of trust. Not really. The cunt's my neighbour. I'm just, all right, mate, how are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sweet, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Was there any alarm bells ringing then? But, no, you... right. No, I must say this because this is what annoys me with people on the outside. See what happened to me? It happens Every single day of the week to somebody else, but it ain't the BBC. It's the old bill. Mm -hmm. It happens every single day of the week. I've been away with a man in the shovel, right? I've been, and he was a brass monkey, and he said to me, look, I didn't mind because he admitted that he was a junkie. And he said, look, he said, he said, do you know what happened to you? He said, it happens. And I said, listen, mate, I know. I said, because I know someone that was a prolific thief, him and, uh, him and his brother, prolific. So the old bill set, opened a shop. And they bought all the gear from him. Then they just went and fucking raided everyone's gaffs. That were, but it was the old Bill that opened the shop and it was the old Bill that was working behind the counter, mm -hmm. right? And he said to me, he said, he, he was in there for serving the old Bill up smack, right? And he said to me, he said, in the death, he said, I didn't feel comfortable with this geezer. He said, no, I'm a junk. He said, I made no bones about it. He said, and in the death, I said to him, listen, you never have a boot with me, mate. You're having a boot. And they fucking shut the door. He made him have a boot. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I started laughing. I went, no way and all that. And he went, I'm fucking telling you. He said, oh, I've got no reason to lie mm -hmm. you. So I'm telling you. And if, whatever happened to me, happens every Yeah, there's surveillance on everybody. But it's the old Bill. It's not the BBC. Yeah, how, how, how did the BBC choose you, the bastard? I just told you, the informer, Darren yeah. Wells. Yeah. And that's, how can they use that in court? How can that even be law? For them to be, but did they have wires and shit every day? Were they wired up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fully, fully, like back in here. More cameras than down here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, fucking, but, but look, look, adversity brings you great strength, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, look, you know, I, 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 I've used it to, people say to me, I don't use it to my advantage as much as I should do. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're probably right because I'm just a kid off the fucking street that, you know, but but 
I do know a lot of people that would have buckled a lot. You know, mm-hmm. you, you, you just got to be a little bit mentally strong, aren't you? And not pretend you're anything that you ain't. Just be fucking real to yourself. Yeah. Be, you know, whatever. You're Celtic, I'm fucking Rangers. Yeah. So fucking what? Yeah. You know what I mean? But that programme was viewed nearly 10 million times or something. It was one of the most viewed... It was one of them that was well, bigger than East Enders. I'll tell you and... what they done. They done. They done. It, it, in when it come, because it was fucking prime time. When it, <laughs> uh, seven, seven and a half million. When did you find out it was coming? Well, that's out. how I know he's the informer as well. Well, they, well not only that, I've been told, but uh-huh. right, Darren Wells, who I've known for uh-huh. a long time, right, who come out as come out and said I am an informer, more to do with the right wing, which is. Let's not get this twisted, right? Because you're fucking Chelsea. Don't mean you're a fucking neo-Nazi because mm-hmm. for whatever reason, they seem to think that you're a mad Nazi, you know what I mean? Because it's all bollocks, right? Absolute bollocks, right? And, and, and it annoys me about it, right? I mean, you know, because if if your views are more right-wing than left, you're extreme right. Mm-hmm. But if your views are more left than right, you're just left-wing. You're not extreme left, so it's all bollocks. But he was working for, for a mob called Searchlight. But he was also against fucking, I think, Combat 18 and what have you at the time. Which is nothing to do with Chelsea, nothing to do with the McIntyre, nothing to do with this, nothing. But he was on the payroll. So, anyway, but but he, he said to me, he said, oh, he said, I was working in the BBC changing the light things and this, that and the other. And there was a trailer coming on. And because your voice is distinctive, I heard your voice. So I turned around, looked at it and went, cool, I know him. And they went, oh yeah, don't tell me, you know, there's a, there's a documentary coming out about him. <laughs> and he told me two days before, right? So then I'll get hold of my brief and then go, right, listen, there's a, and he went, well, there's nothing on that. And I sat there and I watched it with my solicitor. <laughs> With a fucking pillow over the face <laughs> and, and, and fucking uh-huh. and like that. Uh-huh. And I thought, oh my good God. But I got seven and a half million viewers that night and I fucking I know East Enders only got six million. Mm-hmm. So I beat them cunts, <laughs> right? But um When did it start going to court and shit then? When did you do I that? Did, listen, I'll tell you what I've done, I've done the slips, didn't I? I, I, I well, I didn't know I hang about with it, and then I thought, do you know what? I thought I thought I'm past the post. Yeah. I thought I was Lester Piggy, didn't I? I thought, mm. fuck me, I'm sweet here. Mm-hmm. I fuck off and then thing. And that it come out in a November, I got chored in the March. I got nicked in the March. I got nicked to... Uh, is that uh, not a schoolboy error from th- those part to release that before a trial? Is that not giving evidence away? No, because they, they, they... Listen, do you know what it was? You know, saying uh, that me and my my uh, QC, Michael Walkind, little Jewish fella, Barnet supporter. Right, <laughs> me and him are still pals to this day. He's a good man. He's a good man. He's very. He's, he's in the top ten in the country. He's known for his sharpness. And me and him really get on well to this day. And uh, he uh, he said, "When it look, you just got to roll with it and see what evidence they got and see what's this and see what that. But we're still of the it was." They, I don't, we don't really think that they was that bothered about a conviction. They were wanting to make a documentary. They wanted fucking bums on seats because mm-hmm. they sold that worldwide. And it's all about reddies, isn't it? Everything's about pound notes. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, all right, they got, but, it, but going, he's got to fucking, the mongrel, like when he, when, when I do get chored, I mean, there's some great stories behind it to be truthful mm-hmm. with, like, with me because of the way I am. But I'll give you a prime example. When I get chored, right? Uh, that, they, they nick me and they go, uh, anyway, they, they they come to me yard and I've got the trailer in my yard as well and and the boy who fucking, the, me, who, I, who I brought up as well, he's come up the same site and what have you. And he says, uh, anyway, I'll speak to him in Romany so they can't understand. And they say, oh, don't start your pikey bollocks around us and this, that and the other. I says, yeah, whatever, mate, whatever. Tell me, anyway, they went, listen, you'll be out in a few hours be able to clean your trailer up and this, that, and ever. I said, yeah, sure, I will. I said, what do you think I'm getting out? Right? I said, because they, they, they don't, you know, they've only come to nick me, ain't they? they, they mm-hmm. They're only doing the, mm-hmm. the what they've been told to do. When I walk in the gather station, when I walk in there, the, the, the desk sergeant went, oh, here he is, the famous Jason Mariner. So I went, uh, I don't think I'm famous, do you? I said, fucking, let's have it right, mate. All of a sudden, this skinny-eyed chicken neck comes and sits next to me. And he says, uh, all right, mate? I says, well, I ain't your mate, am I, mate? I've fucking never seen you before in all my life. 
And he had, oh, oh well, no, I ain't joking. Yeah, this cunt had like a Mr. Byvite suit on. Like, it was shocking. <laughs> like, honestly, his fucking, his roundy houses, his trousers was that much mm -hmm. off of his fucking shoes. Like, that. <laughs> I said, I'll see what you got to do, mate. You've got to put some jam on your shoes and bite your trousers down my teeth. I said, I've never seen nothing like it, mate. I said, don't you earn any fucking money in this job? Right? So anyway, I've looked at him like that. Uh, so he went... I'm so and so and so and so, uh, and I'm police intelligence. I said, but don't put them two words together, <laughs> police and intelligence. You know what I mean? I said, I said, uh, I said, oh yeah. He said, I'm leading this investigation. So I said, good luck to you, mate. All right. So he said, well, you know, he said, so we will be having a long chat later. I said, let me tell you one thing, goat's mouth. You'll be talking to yourself. Now, do yourself a favour, bang me up and fuck off. All right. I said, I'm not interested in your in your silly little games. So anyway. They take me, anyway, oh, that was, that, that, another little, so they bang me up, yeah? So he said, well, to be fair, the death sergeant, he went, everything all right, mate? I said, yeah, not so bad, my old cousin. I said, I'll tell you what, though, Chelsea got let's out tonight. I said, you couldn't let me know what the result is, could you? Said, no problem, mate. You know, it's all right, the gays on, nicked and I'm sweet. So anyway, I gets banged up. Later on, right, that evening, there's a, there's a, it was new to me, fucking hell, I'd been nicked a million and one time, it was new. They had to, um, to, uh, people come round to fucking make sure you're all right in the cells now. Yeah, suicide like watch. And, uh, I don't know if it's suicide watch or fucking whatever it is, but it's like, uh, they, 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 to be fair, they're just, you know, it's out of their own time. They're only like, you know, mm -hmm. not all Zillowists, but fucking just Joe Public. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But I ain't being funny. This cunt was 387 years old, this one. And um, maybe he's having a turnout with the old bird that he was with. Mm -hmm. And that's why his excuse to get out of the house from his old woman, the cunt. Cause I'm a... Anyway, he's coming and he's like, he, says, he said, if it's, is everything all right, mate? So I said, no, not really, mate. And the cousins looked at me like that. And he, he ain't seen me, he ain't spoke to me, this other cousin that's there. So he's, he's thinking, what's he going to say? So he went, well, what's the matter? And he's got his old pen and paper out and he's sitting there I said, well, be truthful, mate. I've got a fucking raving hump. He said, well, why is that then? I said, well, I've asked the cunt up there to tell me what the result is about Chelsea. That's how I said, no, he ain't even told me. So he's looked at me like that. He said, he said, oh, you're worried about it. I said, that's all I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the cos went, I'll get you the result, mate. I said, you do that, mate. Anyway, I said, get us another pillow and another blanket, mate. I said, don't be late the court in the morning. <laughs> right? So that was that. When I get the call, blah, 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 they oppose bail. Right? No brown out for me, right? So they says, right. So uh, the prosecution stands up, and one of his his biggest op opponent was, uh, yeah, when we when we caught Mr. Mariner, he um, he had uh, Mr. McIntyre's name and address in his pocket on a bit of paper. So I started laughing. The old chocolate fudge went. Well, he said, "Can you keep quiet?" I said, "No, not really, mate. No, I can't, because I know I'm going to the warehouse." Mm -hmm. I said, "No, not really, mate." She said, I, I'm not, you know, how dare you? And I said, how dare I? I said, live next door to me for 18 months, mate. I think I know where he lived. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right? And uh, so yeah, I did fuck it. I'll go out there and laugh to people. <laughs> but, uh, and I said, just for interest. Mm -hmm. So then they said, can you go through your brief? So I was getting on my brief. I said, can you ask him where the bit of paper is? Well, they've lost it. I said, what, in 24 hours? My fucking case come up 13 months later. They never lost the evidence to cunts. I'll tell you, yeah. but they lost that one bit of paper in the 24 hours. So for him to make that documentary, he made that for the BBC and went 18 months undercover to make a documentary, no realising yeah. the, the extent it was going to go. Who, did, was, did, was he... Well, we think, right, the, the, we think that they... they um, because they went down the... I need to go add this sort of thing, but the, uh -huh. the, the, because they've always said that I'm with gangsters and villains and yeah. this, that, and the other, I'd, I'd rather do that another way, put that in. Mm -hmm. But because they've always said that, you know, oh, Freddie Forms been my pal since the eighties, I'd rather you'd ask me that. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Uh, and all these kind of people, they think oh, maybe they thought I was active in in, in the drug. Well, I ain't, I ain't, and I still ain't, and and I'm not, and. You know, fucking whatever. So I think, see, I don't know if you remember, but they they actually done, they actually done, uh, it, uh, four, they done one on Fraudsters, one on Models, my, my one, one on Stockbrokers, and one on Care Homes, mm -hmm. right? 
But the stockbrokers never made it. Never made it on television. Money, do you think? Huh? Money behind it, do you think? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the stockbrokers had too much money to take them. <laughs> yeah. So little old me, thank you, little old me, can't, I can't, uh, you know, I ain't being rude. I don't, yeah, what, yeah, people might say I'll do all right for myself in life. One thing's doing all right for yourself. Taking the BBC to call. Yeah, you're fucked. It, it, <laughs> it's the most, they yeah. are the most powerful organisation. Yeah. Don't be fucking funny. You've got your Jimmy Savills, your Max Cliffords, your fucking yeah. thing. You, you can get, the list goes on with them fucking slags, mm -hmm. right? They all want to talk about them when they're dead. They're fucking nonces. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They, 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 no, let's not say anything about them. Bollocks. Yeah. Bollocks, you know what I mean? We've all got kids. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, covered it all up. So, so they are the most powerful organisation mm -hmm. there is. Do you know what I mean? You know, and and uh, you know, please God, in years to come, YouTube gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and and, and wipes them fucking nonces out. You know what yeah, I mean? You know because you know it, it's disgusting how they their, their behaviour is mm -hmm. disgusting. You know what I mean? Yeah. But unless you Oh, in the public eye, a little bit or what, you know, whatever. I mean, that's why when, you know, you phone me up and ask me to come on your, your show, I'm mm -hmm. more than happy to do it because I've got nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. Go and ask them. <laughs> Go and ask them. Let's see yeah. what they've got to hide. Yeah, they'll fucking Telling you. say nothing, but Telling you, you know what I mean? He, listen, he tried to get hold of me. He tried to get hold of me to do a 10-year an anniversary. <laughs> well, we're married, old mother's come, right? Like a 10-year anniversary about the documentary about... um. <laughs> it's like it's over a pals. That's all I'm going to forget it because obviously I, I've, I, that's I've, a fucking joke. I've, I've seen him. I've seen him. Right, but you know he's had his wife nicked, didn't you? You're joking. He's had his wife nicked. So he's got you sex year in the jail, and now he's asked yeah, that you. I got out on the Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> he got you sex year yeah. in the jail, and yeah. then he's asked you to do a ten year anniversary. Well, he didn't know well, what happened was right. That, that I'll, ref I'll rephrase that a little bit. I was I talk as much bollocks as him. Uh, he. An agent got hold of me, right, and said he would like to, and I said, let me tell you one thing. I said, I'll do it. But the odds are in my favour this time, not in it, but you know what I mean? And, and, and I won't be in the same room as him because I'd want to stick that straight in his face, scabby-eyed cunt. Well, do you know what I mean? I do, you know, to this day, I do, although, although, let me tell you, everyone else thinks about him. I don't think about him. He can't live in my head rent-free. All the time he lives in my head for nothing, I ain't getting a pound. No, not a chance, mate. I don't care if he gets cancer in his throat tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I do not care. Right? And I don't care if he lives to 187. It don't, it don't bother me. I don't think about him. Other people want to talk to me about him. Right? I am not. Uh, don't care. You know, I just hope he gets locked jaw so he can't keep lying about people. <laughs> but, but yeah, we don't got hold of an agent, this, that and the other. So I went in with a strong figure. Strong. Right? And, uh, and to be honest, with my, my, uh, this sounds a bit thing, but the agent even said to me, your name will be stronger than his. The, the people will want to, do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I went, lovely. So anyway, I went in with a strong figure in this and the other. He's come back and offered me a figure, right? Well, well, you know, right? And I said, who's he to fucking offer me? Who's he? Right? And then when I delved into it more, it was his own production company. I said, tell him to go and lay with my grandmother about fucking, I said, you're off your head, aren't you? That. How did yeah. he get his wife chanced? They've had a turnout. They've had a turnout, whatever, whatever thing, yeah. And she, you ain't gonna, you, oh, this is fucking fantastic. She, I think you can go, go I mean, I ain't no good on them turnouts, mm -hmm. but you go and have a little look up and all that. She fucking uh, <laughs> bought a fucking spy camera as a hook. You know, like a hook that you hang your coat on and mm -hmm. all that. And was taping him. <laughs> taping him the car. Yeah, both of them are just as fucking bad as each other. <laughs> you lay with dogs, you get fleas. <laughs> fucking hell. What the fuck? But, yeah, all my life. Who is, but who the but fuck? He got, he got, he's bit got her chores. He's got her nicked. Um, and he's got the children now and this, that, and the other. And he's fucking doing all this criminology fucking gear and this, that, and It's funny other. how she's recording him. He gets her nicked, but you can't fucking get him nicked for doing the exact same. Do you know what? No, I'll fucking, I wouldn't get him next because I, I ain't a dog like that. I, listen, on because he have his, uh, he got me mate, Nick, well, the two, I mean, look, every time he's fucking, he's been, he's been, he's been done a couple of times and then the old Bill have always said to me, well, you know, we mm -hmm. know you're behind it. We know this, that and the other. And, I mean, one time he got done, it was a bit of a coincidence. They said to me, it's a bit of a coincidence because he got done and I was on a football ban at the time. And uh, 
I was handing my passport in at the police station. So when they pressured me and said, you've been, you know, and this is down to you. And so oh, I said, I was in the police station handing my passport mm -hmm. in. I'm on camera. I'm mm -hmm. holding me. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And they went, yeah, we know you. We know, don't worry. <laughs> and I went, what fuck? Who is Dick? Who the fuck is he though? They, thank you. Who is he? Yeah. One of your mob. <laughs> <laughs> So after your life, how did that change your life then? That getting that six and being exposed to... Made me a lot thinner. I went to shovel. <laughs> I was running a lot. To um, have that exposure because then everybody um, knew who you were. Yeah. I, I, see, I don't, I don't look at it like... Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I, It's mental, isn't it? I don't... Well, it's just, just mad, isn't it? I can be fucking... I've been at mental airports and people are like, oh, right, mate, can I have a photograph of mm -hmm. you and all that? And it's mad and all that. But look, not everyone's going to love you. Not everyone's, you know, look, you could be fucking, you know, Dave the fucking corner shop owner and no, someone's going to dislike you. You know, you can't help it. And But but I think what happens with me is, you know, I don't try and give it the fucking big and I just rode with it. And took it on the chin and got me head down and done this set and the other. Because people say to me, because I'm a bit of a character and have a laugh and a joke, and well, what am I going to do? Fucking cry about that cunt all my life. Mm -hmm. I ain't worried about him. Do you know what I mean? I've got absolutely no, no I mean, fucking, you, know, you know. But so, it, I mean, it is mad. It is mad. Like, change to be truthful, mate. How fucking, you know, how it's changed a bit because, you know, Oh, it's just mad. It's, it's even hard to explain. Like, sounds a bit embarrassing, but you know, sometimes people think you're fucking a bit famous. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But you know, I suppose. And, and I think what helped me as well. But you know, I've done a DVD, and I've you know, m my books have been very honest. Very honest. If I've been done, I've been done. If I'm a fat cunt, I'm a fat cunt. I mean, there ain't no point lying about mm -hmm. it. I mean, it's all the world's at sea. But you've been in countless but, documentaries, films. Yeah. You have been everywhere. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You have got a strong name and a strong reputation yeah. and everybody who I speak but to... You, but look, you've got to be... It's, you, it's nice to be nice, isn't it? Yeah. Whatever. Look, I, I had good people around me, even when I was younger. And all the proper names and faces and what have you. If you actually... None of them are bullies. None of them are fucking thing. You know, they're, they're strong people. And, you know, you've interviewed some, some fucking, you know, some notorious proper people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bet you'd say they've been gentlemen. Yeah. But because they got morals. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I like five things in life. You know, morals, dignity, respect, trust, and loyalty. Them five things. I'm strong about them five things. Mm -hmm. And I'm about all of them. And and, and that's the way it is. And uh, look, if I like someone, I like someone. And it and it and you can't help who they support or or whatever background they come from or or whatever. I'm an old market trader. I fucking I, 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 I used to deal with a million and one Sikhs. I mean, I like the Sikhs. They fought for us. You know what I mean? I fucking like the Sikhs. But hold on a minute, you're Chelsea. You're racist, aren't you? No, fuck off. Mm -hmm. It's boring, mate. It's boring. Do you know what I mean? Yes, we've all said racist comments in our life. Yes, you know. Can anyone put their hand on their heart and say they've never made a racist comment? Because if you fucking say you, have, you haven't, you're a lying cunt. And that's the truth, mm -hmm. right? So, you know... It, I think I don't How know. was it when you came out then Go to the games Was there more heat on you then Did you stop the, the, the fight Go to the games I yeah. The old chocolate fudge <laughs> oh, This is funny Well I think it's funny <laughs> When I got weighed off When I got weighed off I got the six yeah I walked down the apples And I laid, laid on me On me On me thing yeah I laid on me um, On me Me fucking blue mat That you could read your newspaper through Right And uh I got a twenty-year ban, but the maximum is ten years in this country. Yeah, sorry, I'm in Scotland at the moment because yeah. at the time there's a little story behind it. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't in Scotland at the time. It was England and Wales. So anyway, the old jailer and the jailer's got to know me because I used to ask where fucking kids and have a two toast at lunchtime. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking hell, right? So and he was sweet with me. You know he couldn't believe it. Fucking hell, Jase, you've got fucking six years. You know, there's a cunt down there. He's just got seven years for fucking. Raping a fucking child. And that's the truth of it. It's just seven years for fucking raping a child. Cunt's going to do six months more than me. Six months. I've done longer in the can than you. Fucking six months <laughs> longer. You know what I mean? But so he's come to me. He said, he said, Jace, they want you, they want you back up. They need to rectify your, uh, your ban. 
you you got you got you know your QC stood up, looked it all up in the archives, and he said the maximum's ten years. I went leave off, Chav. I said it not the long walk up them apples again. I'm fucking tired. I've been on trial for six months. I'll just take me back home. I said I want to get my head down. I said I've fucking had a long week. You know what <laughs> I mean? He looked at me, shook his head. He went, "You're fucking nuts." I went, "No, come on, drop me out." I said, "Look, tell him to fucking go and lay with my grandmother." I said, "Listen," I said, "I ain't going." back up there and rectify boxy fucking football band. I said, it ain't not, I'm going to go Saturday, is it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right, so he went, so anyway, the judge sent another thing down saying, um, if you don't come back into court, you'll get done for contempt of court. So I said, because I got done for conspiracy as well, right? And which meant, obviously, mm -hmm. you, to conspire, I've got to speak to you and I. So when the phone call was made to the Leicester supporters, to, to organise we're not going to deny that they never answered the phone so to this day I want to know who we conspired with right mm -hmm. <laughs> right so I went I think the old chocolate fudge has got his conspiracy and his fucking and his uh, and his um, thing mixed up again I said because he he, he he wants out. I said contempt of court so he went yeah I said, well, if I ain't in the courtroom, how can I be done for contempt of court? Mm -hmm. I said, it's conspiracy and contempt of court. He's got it all twisted, this cunt. I said, he's thinking about his old boy on his knee and he's fucking with his stockings and suspenders on. I said, tell him to forget it. I said, I'm going to, I said, uh, I said, I'm all right here. Anyway, but it's comical because they give me a ban. So it obviously went down to 10 years, yeah? And I wasn't allowed within a... I don't know if I can't remember it was that long ago because I've had 21 years of bands, but it's like a three or five mile radius of uh, of Chelsea football ground, yeah? When the game's on? Yeah, right? So when I'm away, I think I'll be comical, don't I, old Joe the champ? I write the old chocolate fudge, right? I write to him and I said, every other Saturday, I'm breaking the band. Because I'm within the fucking perimeter. <laughs> so is there any chance of you getting me out of this shit or moving me mm -hmm. to another beautiful establishment? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, it's been, oh, you're crazy. You know? But it's just a game. Mm -hmm. just, what I'm saying is it's a game. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's just, it's just a game. Bit of banter. It's a bit of a laugh and this, that and the other. I've done it to one of my mates, didn't I? Like in, in, the, in the Nick one time when I, I fucking, it was another time when I wrote to um, uh, fucking Rose West, uh, Send it to me mate from me mates thing. Uh, send it from me mates. Um, a jail address. Yeah, send it from like he was two cells away yeah, from yeah, me yeah. and all that, and said he wanted to be a pen pal and all mm -hmm. that, and like fucking. Mm -hmm. uh, he'd fallen in love with her and he'd written her, and he went, mm -hmm. "Oh, you fucking mad!" <laughs> 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 I mean, but people do do all that, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Get married but, and shit. But I sent it from him, obviously yeah. not from mm -hmm. me. I sent it. Do you know what I mean? To her? Yeah, to her. Did she yeah, reply? And all that. I got shipped out, so I never know, <laughs> never know to this day. But, you know, it's just silly little things yeah, like yeah. that that, that make you Let's try to keep you occupied, huh? Look, you've got to have a bit of banner. You've got to have a bit of, uh, you know, every day. So, look, you can have you can have eight fucking eight fights a day. I mean, in Wandsworth, at that, at that present time, to be totally honest with you, it's an absolute bang-up. It's an absolute behind the fucking door. You know, I... Uh, stories I remember coming down once I'll never forget it. Mr. Stewart everyone hated him I got no heart of him he was all right nowhere else you know what I mean mm -hmm. don't ask for anything in there because you ain't getting it so I went through the hot plate one day Mr. Stewart saying you you had to have your shirt tucked in you, everything mm -hmm. in there. let me tell you in Wandsworth and my fucking regiment you know, listen but the, the, I've done a I've done a DVD with Pretty Roy Shaw many years ago or many of us stars because you know we all was in the thing uh, and my question to Roy was, you've done every single Nick. What is the hardest prison? And he said, Wandsworth. One million and one percent Wandsworth. And so when you walk one way, you're only allowed to walk one way. So when I come through the hot plate and I come out, I went, hello, Mr. Stewart, how are you? He went, all right, Mariner. And he's up on his old Bromleys. He's up on his old Bromley bar bows, like he's but like an ex-old Bill, you know what I mean? Like that. So I said, uh, Mr. Stewart, I said, I haven't actually seen daylight for three days. Is there any chance of a bit of exercise? Do you think we'll see exercise in the next fortnight? You know, we we see the exercise yards. And I'm having a bit of banter, but really deep down, I fucking want it. Come on, mate, I'm fucking. Do you know what I mean? It's enough now. You know, people are starting to get the zig and all get right agitated and this, that, and the other. And he went, uh, he went, come, come here, come here. And I'd already walked past him, and I'm not allowed to walk back. 
I went, no, 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 all that. And he went, no, no, come here, come here. He said, I'll tell you. So I, I walked back. I went, what, what's the matter? And he went, uh, he said, exercise. And I went, yeah. And I went, I went, yeah, any chance, Mr. Stewart? I said, because they reckon it stopped raining in China three days ago. And he went, no chance. And I went, well, that's the end of that then. And he went, do you want to know why? And I went, not really, but you're going to tell me. And he went, yeah. He said, I'll tell you. He said, you know why you're not getting exercise? I went, no. He went, because you're a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to laugh as much as inside. But other people have got the hump about it. Yeah. You know, like other people Angry. are fucking raging. Mm -hmm. Right, and I've fucking, I've walked away. I've actually chuckled to myself. Mm -hmm. I thought, silly come, bastard. Come to yeah. me, come to me Christmas Eve one night, and he and, and, I, and I heard him, I heard him coming, and I've got my paper up like that, and uh, I'm in a single Peter, I'm in a single cell, and he's fucking open a flat, bang, he's crashed it. He went Marina. I went, what, Mister Stewart? And I've got my paper up, and I won't look at him. He went, look <laughs> at me. I went, fuck off. <laughs> Because he, he, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, he was fucking lagging. Mm -hmm. I mean lagging. He went, you'd like to be as drunk as <laughs> you come in now. And I've got like that. And as I put my paper down, he's got a big red robe on and big dreadlocks. <laughs> he went, you <laughs> can't have me Christmas. And slapped the thing and fucked off. But he's a mind getter. Yeah. But he was funny. It was mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. it's, it's even funny at a day because I've got a booze in front yeah, of me. Yeah, I'm having yeah, a nice yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. But let me tell you, <laughs> Weaker people would yeah. buckle. Mm -hmm. Weaker people yeah. would buckle. I'm going to kill that bastard when I'm out of here. Listen, honestly, that. yeah, he's in their minds. How did it break you then? Not able to go to see Chelsea, getting so many bands. You've had one of the biggest, longest <clears throat> bands ever in British history. Do, uh, do you know what? I'll tell, I'll tell you what did make it easier. If I'm being really honest with you, there's fucking so much on the television nowadays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It actually does make it a bit fucking easier. Um, obviously, I can go to football now and what have you, but. Uh, um, it, it, you end up thinking, look, if I go and keep performing anyway, I'm just going, it's just a revolving door. I'm just going to keep mm -hmm. coming to the warehouse. Mm -hmm. What's the fucking point? Do you get, you point? got another sentence, did you not? After, yeah, I've your got, sex? A bottle, I got a two stretch, I got a two, yeah, a bottle. What was that two. for? Cardiff, fuck all, really. It'd be so <laughs> well, being, at, being at the front of the mob, but <laughs> but you know, and I knew because I heard, I heard, you know, the the. Cosa, the gavel had the camera. He went, it's Jason Mariner, it's Jason Mariner. It's so-and-so, it's so-and-so, it's so-and-so. And he was going through names. Blah, blah, blah. And I thought, if I just stand here and I ain't doing anything, so I put my hands behind my back, just started fucking thinking. So like, and I thought, if one of them steams into me, then I can fucking... Self-defense. Yeah. Right? So... <laughs> 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 I am in the fucking... I'm in the old cum, in the kangaroo court, and I... Right, and uh, it always makes me laugh about that as well because you know what? In 1987, I got two not guilties at this size of Crown Court. It was I got two not guilties. I'm back there, fucking 20 odd years later, or fucking however long it was. More than that, 25 years later, however long it was. Anyway, prosecution starts walking up and down. He says you're famous, ain't you? I said famous. I said, I ain't famous. Where written books, you've been in films, done documentaries, you fucking, you've done this. And he's walking up and down, this, that and the other. So I went, yeah. So I went, but that don't make me famous, does it? Sign books, you sign DVDs. You said you've been seen outside. People stop you, you have photographs. So I went, right. So he went, uh, and he mentioned about me book again. I said, would you like to buy it? So he went, uh, no, he said, I wouldn't read a book like that. I said, well, you might find it interesting. I said, maybe you'll see a different walk of life. So he went to me, um, he said, anyway, forget that. He said, so there you are again at the front. Now, I don't forget, I've just mentioned that camera. I think that camera's on me. Let me tell you. There was one up there. There was two council, one handheld, one up in the fucking flats, and then the helicopter. <laughs> Five. Five dolly mixtures, so five five smudges on me, right? But fuck it now, what, what, they've got every angle. And them helicopters, say what you fucking like, let me tell you. If you've got a little lapel on the fucking, which I had on on, on a coat, it can zoom in on the, oh, there's a Technology. camera's fucking, yeah. yeah, camera's top of the notch and, you know, you, you, you ain't getting out. Anyway, but, you know, I don't think I'm doing anything, do I? Listen, I said, I'm a, he said, well, you're always at the front. I said, well, someone's got to be at the front. Someone's got to be at the back. So he said, well, why did you go down that road? 
So I said, the police pushed us down that road. So he said, so you're blaming the police. I said, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was going to backpedal. He mm-hmm. thought I was going to melt or something. I went, that's exactly what I'm doing, blaming the police. I said, as a matter of fact, I think it's the biggest stitch up since fucking, since last bread. Since your BBC right? documentary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I mean, so he went, so he went, he went, and why do you think that then? I said, well, is a category C like the top, you know, the top volatile could uh, be like there could be plenty of clashes and this and that. And also, let's have it right before the game, there was fucking untold. You know what I mean, right? There was untold going on, right? I mean, plenty of rollabouts before the fucking. So I said, so he said, so so what are you saying? I said, well, when the game finished, you let everyone out else out together I said I watched Liverpool Man United the other week at Old Trafford I said there was fucking 1800 or however many Mickeys in the corner I said they kept the Scousers in for fucking 40 minutes I said till they cleared the streets I said didn't do that there did you I said you let because it was a cup game I said you let 6,000 Cardiff out at the same time as us I said with, a, with an history they both got history I said so what do you expect? I said, did you, did you expect everyone to go to the tea parties? You know what I mean? I don't understand it. He said, that's irrelevant. He said, I said, well, it ain't irrelevant. You, because I, I won't buckle in court. I'm still the same man. I'm entitled to fucking have my say. Do you know what I mean? And I said, well, it ain't irrelevant. I said, so you, you know what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? You was looking for a fight. I said, I was. <laughs> I, I said, I was. Chelsea played at home and I was walking towards my car which was down that road. I said, but the police pushed me down that road anyway. So well, he said, well, why didn't you, why didn't, when you got to the top of the road, when all this commotion was going on, why didn't you turn right? He thinks he's got me, doesn't he? Oh, silly old slippery mm. bollocks here. I said, listen, I said, I'm a nosy bastard. I said, you know, if I'm going northbound on the M25, I said, there's a crash southbound. I said, I look. Mm-hmm. I said, I look. I said, because I'm nosy. <laughs> I said, so that's what I was doing then. He said, you was at the front. He said, are you going to write another book? He said, because I never saw you with your pen and paper out. I said, it's funny you should say that. Which mm-hmm. I have done, kicking the habit, right? Mm-hmm. So I have done, right? But that's not, you know. Uh, and I, So I took the piss and I said, well, I might do. And he said, well, I never saw you with your pen and paper. So I don't need it. I said, it's all up there. I said, I've got many, many stories all up there. So don't need it. And he kept going on about the, 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 the front. I said, look. I said, if you you go to the fish and chip shop, someone's got to be at the front, someone's got to be at the back. Someone runs out of chips at the end, you know what I mean? I said, there's nothing you can do. So that's the way it is. He said, but you're always at the front. I said, and so am I in the fish and chip shop. I was just patting his derby, you know what I mean? And uh, I can think that it's just... And you got a two? You got a dus? Yeah, I've got a bottle, yeah, a bottle of glue. Yeah, I've got a two, but... How was it so out of all the London clubs, how the fuck is Chelsea and Millwall so ruthless towards each other? How is the hatred so strong? It's funny, actually, because I've got some very good pals over there. And so have some some of our other lads. Um, Look, it's a bit like if you're a good football team and you keep winning things, people hate them. And when we was fucking at the top of our game as notorious football hooligans, a mill all come out of South London, they had a fucking notorious, you know, they're good at fucking having a turnout. You're both doing the right thing, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? So, so in a way, there's sort of mutual respect, but you hate each other because, because I think because you're doing it right. Do you know what I mean? You know, fucking hell. You're not going to hate Kingstonians, are you? Because fucking... Mm-hmm. Did you, know. you ever come up to Glasgow and have a tear up with anybody with Rangers? And they go down to Chelsea also? Well, we had murders with Celtic, didn't we? We yeah. Celtic come, come down to Chelsea mm-hmm. fucking for a friendly. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, sorry, it wasn't a friendly. It was... Uh, we won the league and they won the league. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but... And and do you know what? The old Bill even fucking... He caught for me. He went... Who arranged this? And I went, do you mean the well or the fixture? Do you know what I mean? I mean, we was on the streets at two mm-hmm. o'clock in the afternoon. 
Fucking hell, Chelsea and Glasgow Rangers have had a fucking affiliation since... I mean, my, my first ever game, I think, was... Uh, fucking... 84... Eight, I'll, tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you when it was. Rangers played Aberdeen, right? Graham Soonley scored the winner, uh, Rangers. We had too many bus loads, and we left Chelsea on the Friday night... Fucking hell. That's how it's, it's mental. We left we left uh, Chelsea on the on the fire. Too many bus loads. Come down, walked in at the district bar, Paisley Road West, probably eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. None of us got tickets. Right? It is fucking mobbed. Mobbed in there. I mean, it's mental, isn't it? Because, you know, I mean, yeah. obviously people are. You know, they're straight run. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They've been at work or wherever they work. You know, you don't get that where we come from. You yeah. know what I mean? We come from different suburbs. Mm -hmm. That was another thing with Chelsea. We come from different suburbs. You don't live in fucking Chelsea with all them cunts. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Although there's some, there's lots of, uh, you know, flats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And housing estates and what have you. But you don't get it as a whole. That's where, why well, Chelsea also had a good, contingents as well because they all come from different suburbs they'll meet up and it's a different family every other Saturday or mm -hmm. whatever it is but anyway we go to the district never forget it fucking <laughs> fucking I'm oh, fucking like John Wayne looking for me else by fucking 12 bells I? I've been boozing on the mm -hmm. fucking thing and this that and the other oh, my. so we're down at um, we're down at uh, Chelsea we, we's early early mm -hmm. 2 o'clock they was coming. I was getting phone calls. So they're, they're coming in at King's Cross and this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I didn't have a drink. Didn't have a drink at all. I drove and got there early and fucking all hours. I was banned. I was banned at the time. And uh, but I wasn't on a. I wasn't on a radius. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. So I was just banned from the ground. And um, fucking hell, it, it, honestly, we had. We, we had everyone and their grandmother was out because we've had a strong allegiance with you know how did the allegiance like, become so strong between Rangers and Chelsea just the, well is that the, the likes of the... us the likes of us early started before us but see so that that Rangers Aberdeen game right that weekend Chelsea had Man United Kerry Dixon scored the winner we beat Aberdeen 2-0 Went down, Kerry Dick. I'm oh, fucking what a weekend, but, but that night we we'll wound up in a lodge. Not that you're allowed to wear an hat, but anyone with hats, make sure they're on the table. Stand up with the national anthem at two minutes to twelve. Put you, you're allowed to smoke. Then obviously put your cigarettes in the ashtray. Stand up, boom, boom. God save the queen. Fucking hell, I thought this is a bit of me. God save the queen. The nipples are like grillers' fun. <laughs> you know, fucking this is fucking a bit of me. Right, so you know. Horses for courses, everyone's, you know, so boom, 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 all of a sudden I went in and now you go back, didn't you? And you go, listen, you ain't going to believe this. Boom, boom, boom. I've got older as a tree girl. I think she's about 87, the cunt. Don't worry about that. But I didn't mind. I was only about seven. I don't know how old I was. I can't remember. But might have even been 86. I can't remember what year it was. I know someone's going to get to watch this and go, I'll tell you what year that was because they would do. We was in the bear pit and it was all fucking mm -hmm. thing. And it was just the whole experience. And it was just all of a sudden, you know, hold on, they, 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 these are for us, this mob up there. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, you start learning. And I ain't done, I'm not being rude. They don't even support Scotland. I support England and blah, blah, yeah. blah. And we don't need to go into all of that. We know the score, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 you know, so that's how, and mm -hmm. you know what I mean, James? And then, and then you know, look, Look, let's have it right. There's a lot of sheep in life in there. You know what I mean? You're either a fucking follower or you're a sheep. There's a lot of sheep in life. But you start telling people and they start, and they don't, obviously, they don't, believe, you know, and you say, you ain't going to believe this. Boom, boom, boom. And you tell people, you know, and I would imagine it's the same for the other side. You know, if the fucking, your mum and dad have come from Irish heritage or whatever it is, or blah, 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 and you ain't going to believe this and fucking fuck them potty bastards and boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Fucking whatever, whatever. I ain't gonna cry about it. So fucking what? Do you know what I mean? So I, I'm see, called a fat orange cat <laughs> more. I don't care. See that every week you were fighting. Was that a buzz for you? Were you just buzzing constantly? Well, the, the, the other thing was right. 
as much as I go back on myself a little bit, I said about the organisation. The organisation took it to a different level, but it was the element of surprise. I'll give you a prime example. I mean, Watford Gap is in fucking Birmingham, so why it's ever called Watford Gap, I will never know. But if we're playing, let's just say we're playing in Manchester, fucking Newcastle, fucking others, wherever you want. I mean, say we're going up north, yeah? You're going up north and you're on the fucking motorway and you stop at Watford Gap, you know, back in the day, mm -hmm. right? And you're fucking, you've got 52 Herberts, you know, they're four cans in and they, boom, 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 all jump the champ, <laughs> walk in the toilet like a librarian, walk out like a gangster, <laughs> boom, 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 all of a sudden, they come out, da -da -da. then, what all of a sudden, whoever it is, whoever it may be, a fucking travelling the upper, the other way. You bump into them at the, at the fucking... You've had a row before you've even got to fucking... Because you can't help yourself. Mm -hmm. You're like fucking... You've, you know, you're up a dozen cans in, aren't you? And, uh, boom, 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 and you get the so-and-so and they go, fucking hell, did you... Yeah, it was us. Do you know what I mean? You've had a row at the motorway station. I mean, they're fucking poor. Why are these people ever want to work at service stations? Did you just get a, a buzz with that? I mean, was that just, well, it was just buzzing? It, look, do you know what it is to me? Football is a small part of the day. You know, back in the day, starts on a Thursday. Starts on a Thursday, finishes on a Sunday. Fucking hell, you, you're out. You're going to buy yourself a new T-shirt or a shirt. I mean, it's a clever cunt, isn't it? Go and buy yourself a nice T-shirt, 120 <laughs> well, fucking quid. Right. <laughs> fucking all the buttons. And you, cry, you cry like a baby over spilt milk about your fucking buttons being torn, torn up a fucking T-shirt and you've got a big black eye. You're more worried about your T-shirt. You know what I mean? You're going, so you go and get that. You're talking to your mates about what time you're meeting, where you're going, what you're doing, who you're with, who's coming, who will be there. This, that, and the other. Boom, boom, boom. And you're fucking, it's the build-up, the build-up, the build-up. Then on the day. And then you get pissed easy because you're fucking, you're a bit man united, don't you? You get all excited. So you get fucking thing, you get carried away with emotion. And then, you know, I'm sure people will watch this and go, do you know what? You fucking, that's happened to me. It's, just, it's the truth. It's the fact. Football's a small part of the day. And whatever I'm about, I love the game. I love the game. If I'm, if I'm on a, at home on a Sunday doing fuck all, well, it doesn't matter if it's Sunday, it'd be Monday, it'd be a Tuesday, whatever, and there's a bit of football on, I'll watch a cunt. I don't care if it's... Well, I won't watch it. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'll get the texts whether you comes are winning or losing anyway. I don't need them. But do you know what I mean? I will watch. Do you know what I mean? Just love you football. Know, yeah, yeah, I'll watch football. So but what I'm saying is, is it is a small part of the game. A small part of the day, sorry. Um, and and I'll tell you something now, and I mean this. There's a lot of people that's gone to football uh, that have done very well for themselves, but but it's in them. As I said earlier, if it's in the cat, it's in the kitten. They ain't skimp members. There's some people there that's got fucking some strong money or done well for themselves. Well, not that it's all about money or this, that, and the other. There's, there's other people that bless them have been fucking boxing crisps all fucking in a factory for twelve hours a fucking day, and they want their bit of release. I can't say that about me because I ain't never done, you know what I mean? I've, I have i have to work with myself because I fucking, I can't be told what to do. Who was the gamest bastard you ever come up against? Who was one that stands out you and go, he was a game, game bastard? As a person, you may all Just mob. in the mob. Because uh, I couldn't say a person. No, no, not a person. Well, I'll tell you what I'll wait, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'll wait, and it's the best Northern firm I've ever seen in my life. Middlesbrough. Yeah? But 100%. Best, best, Good loyalist, by the way. But um, <laughs> I'm sure there's... Uh, but, uh, no, no, no. All joking aside, I'll tell you something. Don't... Good firm, Middlesbrough. We've yeah. had some fucking great turnouts from mm -hmm. him. And, and let me tell you, one of the top boys is a fucking very close mate of mine. Very close mate of mine. But... Yeah, my mate GB. But I'm telling you, fucking we've had some great turnouts. I'll tell you, we had, a, we had them in a, in a cup final, didn't we? I mean, we've had murders before that, but we've had them. I was on the platform, mate. I mean, you've got, you've got to start thinking about fucking hell, I might wind up on the tracks here. Do you know what I mean? I mean, even Sunderland, to be fair, we've had some good turnouts with fucking. So, see if you know these pers these people and you've got a respect, do you still go toe to toe? Like, I ain't interested in the bollocks anymore, to be mm -hmm. truthful. 
you know. I but, grew but up back then, but, for crack all right, I crack on. But back then, 52 years old. Uh, you know if, you know, I mean? if you was already had the respect, you knew each other. But on the day of the game, you would you just body swerve each other a little uh -huh. bit. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, you you can't. Fucking hell, I ain't there to paint the wall, am I? Do you know what I mean? You're not there to mm -hmm. fucking, you know. As I say, as I say, you can have 500, you can have 150. You know, you can have... But do you know something, right? All joking aside, like... Like, back in the day, that's where say you meet a lot of them. Because, obviously, like with England, do you know what I mean? Back in the day... Fucking, they, they were, you know, they, they were good. England were good. England were fucking, you know, because, oh, we invented football. But we, we also invented football violence, do you know what I mean? So they was, they was, you know. I mean, look, times have changed, James, you know what I mean? All this, look, if I could stop all these chavvies now going out, fucking pulling knives on people and stabbing people and this, that and the other, listen, I've been bold, I've been, I've been, you know, chived, I've been fucking fingered, this, that, and the other night. I ain't saying I ain't done nothing wrong like that, but, you know, people are losing their life every day, mate, every fucking day. You yeah. know what I mean? So the kid dies, for argument's sake, who gets chived. The kid loses his life. He's behind the, he's behind the door, he's behind the jigger. His family is suffering, his family is suffering, everyone's suffering. No yeah. one's a winner. Have a fucking turn out. Mm -hmm. And if it don't go and have a light out afterwards and fucking thing, or, or don't even have the turn out anymore. Do you know what I mean? I ain't going to fucking have the halo around my head and all that turn out, but it's all bollocks now. You know, people, look, it's a bit like, if you like, the fucking religion and boom, 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 but it's all about, it's all about, like you have these postcode wars now. Did you have them in Scotland? Postcode? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, it's different people fighting each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah for games, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still to this day, yeah, 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 of course, right. And and what what I'm getting at is is like football violence, right? Is a culture. I mean, let's not get yeah. it twisted, right? This has been going for fucking 40, 50, 30, 40 years. It's a culture. It ain't a fly by night thing. You have punks and rockers and skinheads and mods and fucking whatever you have. Now. That's all that's all a culture. To me, that's all a culture. Now, all of that, right, is that's all still happening. Same as the football violence. It's all still happening. I'm not saying the the mods and the punks and the skinheads are going out and having a turnout, mm -hmm. but they're still about. But all it is is the numbers are dwindled. And it's just a smaller fucking it's a smaller thing. And mm -hmm. you know, it, look, it's the fucking little wheels that make the big wheels go round. Do you, Do you mess know up? what I mean? I don't miss it because I, I, and I'll tell you why I don't miss it because I feel sorry for these, these young guns as well. I mean, what chance have they got? They got grass book. They've got to set up within, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, one day they're posting their fucking food on there. Who gives a fuck what you, I'm running a bath? Well, good luck. Yeah, run a bath <laughs> if you can. Who cares? I can't have it. I won't have it, mate. I'm not interested. What's the plans then for the future for you, Jason? Well, what's the plans? Because I know you're trying to start out a new podcast for yourself, which will be massive. Well, I'm doing a, I've got a YouTube channel coming mm -hmm. out. Yeah, I've got a YouTube channel coming out uh, very shortly. I've got a film premiere on Thursday, but by the time this comes out, I'd have been at that. I've done a thing with, you know, the likes of Jamie O'Hara's in it, Ways of Ruddock, the first transgender fucking referees in it. Uh, Dapper. Dapper. Dapper laughs, yeah. Dan, my pal Dan O'Reilly. He's, he's, it's all about him because he's, he's not in the football, is he? Do you know what I mean? So, um, what do you mean you ain't into football? He's, he's one of the lads. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And all his pals are into football. And mm -hmm. I'm saying, what do you... So, I'll wind him up. All the time, you're a Chelsea cunt. That's who you are. Do you know what I mean? He's all right, Danny's sweet. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm going, yeah, I've got a YouTube channel um, coming out. And so, I'll go on the podcast on the back of it, I suppose. And, you know. Um, and I'm in the... Doing a, doing a uh, documentary uh, at the moment. Because... Look, we've been in talks about fucking this film about me for 20 years now. It's boring. I can't, I can't even be bothered to talk. But see, they only think it's all about football violence when it ain't about football violence. Mm -hmm. As I told you, the scenario, there's so much more behind the scenes of what happens with the, you know, with the programme. I mean, they had fucking a yellow Porsche Boxster, a seven series BMW, a fucking Merc Chrysler. A fucking, oh, the list goes on. But anyway, it was your money. We've, we've mentioned that before. <laughs> but, you know, uh, so I'm doing a documentary because they reckon 
the, the, the directors, the two directors and the producers, um, Terry Stone and Richard Turner, what, they, what they're saying is, is they, the documentary they can sell to Netflix and then they, the Netflix then on the back of that, they can try and get some funding to make mm -hmm. the film. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bit like that. Listen, Freddie Foreman's my pal. He's been my pal since fucking the 80s. You know what I mean? They ain't made a film about him. So look, look, if I want to go and say, uh, here's a thing, and I never managed to, I got phoned up last week uh, by an Irish television company. An Irish one. <laughs> Good guys. No, I did. I did. Right? I got I got phoned up, yeah. And uh, so the man said to me, he was all right, to be fair to him, the old tea caddy. He said to me, look, he said, uh, it's 25 years in February when the um, uh, the Lansdowne Road, the, the game got abandoned. It's the anniversary, another anniversary, right, uh, of Lansdowne Road. I said, oh, right, okay. So I said, what's that got to do with me? He said, well, you was there, weren't you? I said, oh, yeah, I was there, yeah. <laughs> so he said, so what we'd like to do, we'd like to, uh, you know, talk to you. And I said, whoa, 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 let me stop you there, mate. He said, uh, he said Go on. I said, how much? So what do you mean, how much? So I don't fucking do nothing for nothing, mate. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So uh, he said, see, he said, well, I don't think, I said, hold on a minute, mate. Ain't, ain't you like, it's the mainstream television? He said, oh, yeah, 100%, yeah. I said, what? And you're, you're a skimp member. What, you got no Nelsons back around you? You got no money? He went, oh, no. He said, um, he said, well, what I have to do? He said, what sort of money is it? Anyway, I spoke He said, well, what we'll do is, is if we have a little chat first. I said, no, 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 mate. So you can jot down and pick my brains and get 25 years of fucking knowledge out of me and this, that, and that fucking thing. And I refused to do it. I said, listen, mate, if I want to go on television, I'll go on Cracker Jack. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I said, I ain't fucking, I said, it ain't for me, mate. I said, no. Yeah. I said, oh, I'm not desperate to go on anything, mate. I said, trust me, I'll do my own thing. Mm -hmm. I said, no, and I, I don't need to uh, be um, thing anyway. I ain't heard from him since. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck him, I yeah. Jace, it's always a pleasure, brother. Your stories are always Top up man. there. But thanks for coming on today. And Top man. Hope you get pumped tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> we are the people. <laughs> See you later, man. Cheers.